here I am at NIFTI, which is the National Foundation for Teaching Entrepreneurship. And it's been 15 years that I've gone to any of their events. The last time I was in, in anything related to NIFTI was in high school. And I uh, can't believe I'm back. This is a regional final being held in Philadelphia. Um, three or four inner city entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, are going to be competing for um, some sort of an, um, an amount. And uh, the ultimate uh, event is going to be held in New York City. And uh, it's a pretty fantastic gathering of people. These kids have all started their own businesses. They have their tables set up, wonderful exhibits with their business and their business concept. All right, we just had our hors d'oeuvres and we're now entering the main competition hall. This is the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's are different from others because for start, not only does it look good, but it tastes good. Taste the control, care about what people put in their bodies. We have, it's fresh, organic, and it's... Please welcome Anthony Mangini from Rock <laughs> Hello, I'm Anthony. So, I always, well, I've been riding dirt bikes since I was four years old. And every time I had to ride, I had to watch my legs. Messenger would not finish this one. So, as you can see in this video, game, two of the big you the track, it's muddy, it's but dirty. It's you can't long. leave it like that. So, after you're done riding, you never ever want to wash your bike. You have to wash it. If you don't wash it, it'll affect the mouth. Like the function of the bike, you won't be riding as great as you would if it was clean and running right. So, since I never want to wash it, everybody else that rides feels that way. You let it sit, it's not if you're going to wash it, it's when. So, I created Rip Clean. You make it gritty, I'll make it pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, I'm very excited to share my business plan with you because as you will see in my business plan, um, Take your time. I have an open market with no direct competitors. I have great validation from consumers and partners. And when I have investment, I'll be able to start operations within a short time of weeks or... It's now time for our third and final presenter of the evening. Please welcome Irvin Santana from Woodrow Wilson High School with his plan for paying the charge. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Irvin Santana. And the, the, um, sorry. the product I'm presenting to you is called Panda's Charge. Uh, the charge of the great future. Now we live in an era where it's, everything's technology. So this is our slogan, stay charged, don't slow down, you're in charge. Now, I know there's a lot of people here who have their phones at like 50%, 25%, or at least 5%. Now, 
this is something very critical because we use our phones in an everyday <laughs> basis. Now, you know, if you're a busy person, you have to go to school, you have to do anything that involves <laughs> your undivided attention, you don't have time to stay around for an hour or two hours to charge your phone. Oh, sorry. Now, I've done some research and I have found out that an iPhone charges in 10 minutes with the body heat. Now, this is a body heat based product that will. Sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, this, this product is going to allow you to charge your phone with, a, with your body heat. Now, the body produces about 100 watts of energy, and this is just uh, the equivalent of one light bulb. So, for example, I want it to be. If you ever gone to the doctors, they, uh, the hospital or anything like that, they have you, they put on these stickers on you to check your vital signs or anything like that. Yeah. So I want to implement that same, the same sticker, but without the pain. So we know how when you take them off, it pains you to take it off. So now these will be pain free. There will be, uh, you'll put it on your body and you won't feel it at all. Now, I would try to implement it into headphones like these because I know there's a lot of people who don't like it on their body. So this sticker is going to stick onto your body and one on your phone. Now we would also like to implement it into hats. Because uh, your head produces the most heat apart from your chest. Now what you should expect from our product is it's wire free. I'm trying to make sure this is a wire free product so you don't have to deal with uh, wires all the time. For example, like this. You don't want this all the time. <laughs> this gets very frustrating sometimes. <laughs> now, you could easily go to the store and buy you a $50 charger, which still takes time for you to charge. You have to spend an hour to two hours to charge this thing. Now, we would, I would like to implement it as well into shirts. Something like this, easy. You know, it doesn't get in your way. It's something you would use on an everyday basis. Uh, Um, now, for example, you don't like waiting for anything. Nobody does. <laughs> so, this is what it will look like. Probably something smaller than this. And then the stickers would be rather small. Okay. Usually be teenagers and busy adults, you know, business people, uh, college students, teachers. Now, for example, uh, let me say example. In the back back there, there's some lights with uh, uh, cables all over the place. Now somebody could trip over there and it'd be bad. Uh, this would all be advertised on social media, Facebook, Instagram, we would make YouTube videos. Uh, we would go on the streets and allow people to use these chargers and compare them to other chargers. These entrepreneurs are going to do what is sometimes referred to as elevator pitch. They will each have 30 seconds to pitch you their business idea. After these pitches conclude, you will have five minutes to vote for your favorite, favorite pitcher by texting the code to 51555. The code can be found in your program and it matches the number each pitcher is wearing. Where we sell 3D printed braces that have the same luxury affordability, um, afford, not affordability, um, same luxury flexibility, durability, and everything as regular braces with the same results, but is way more affordable. More affordable, about $4,500 less. Um, but is made of top of line materials, top of the one of the best 3D printers in the world, and. That's smile. Brightness is beauty. Good evening. My name is Michael Richards, and today I have Snooze Tunes. Y'all might be wondering what Snooze Tunes is. Snooze Tunes is a pillow with Bluetooth technology implanted in it so it can enhance y'all sleep quality and possibly at nighttime. We are affordable. We only cost $39.95, unlike our competitors, the Sleep Pillow, which costs $160 and also we are washable and we are affordable. We have an online store and we are also in the development of a prototype and we also have been medically proven to help you go to sleep at night.
My name is Justin Gant. My production is on Justin Gant's video. So the reason I wanted to be an actor is I can make sure I got all my backgrounds right. But what I came from and all my struggles on the big screen. So let's just say if you're a production company, am I? If we assemble, I can treat mine. I can provide you with material like lights, audio, and camera to make sure the production company is what it's worth for the whole empire. Like five years, or my empire to my company, like just a video so will be a whole empire to full of everybody's greatness, the what they like, what the audience deserves. So, <laughs> so my name is Junior Torres. I'm here because I want to show you about my business. It's gonna be a laundromat calling Swipe and Clean. There's gonna there's gonna have a swipe device device that you're gonna use it to get on the building. You're gonna have your, your close security, like nobody gonna stall it, and it's gonna be easier. Cause Competition People's <laughs> Choice Award is Rosnity Vargas. Yeah. incredibly proud of the work you've done and uh, hopefully you keep the energy up towards your ideas because you all have very bright futures and uh, we really enjoyed it we, we had a long discussion as judges but I think that's because you guys made it hard and you came up you came in uh, and brought your a-game so thank you great job overall I think you guys all did a great amount of research to figure out the needs in your communities and did a great job presenting it all. Yeah, I think you guys all did an amazing job. I think you're all solving um, really big problems. I love the social mission that everybody seemed to have and started sort of weaving to their narrative. I thought that was great. And just, just keep doing what you're doing, never give up, um, and just learn from you know things as you, as, as, as you start getting information from the market and you can continue growing your business. And just keep doing what you're doing, it's amazing stuff. As the video said, <clears throat> excuse me, this is not the end, just the beginning. Keep up the good work. Yeah, and then I go with the judge that said, just take advantage of the opportunity that 50 gives you all. I think you certainly heard your alumni here that present. Thank you, judges. Now's the time we all been waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing that you were, judges, it's amazing that you were able to come to a decision. Uh, you know, we had a lot of excellent presentations, but at the end of the day, we do have a winner. Yeah. Now, please have a good These results will conclude our program this evening, but the evening isn't over. Your section will continue outside of the auditorium. If you haven't yet, make sure you visit our inspiring entrepreneurs at their booths and grab some desserts. to receive an award of $500 is Letitia Jenkins and Denise, Denisha Green.
So had an amazing time um, yesterday at the National Foundation for Teaching Entrepreneurship event, um, a regional final in Philadelphia. I guess they've rebranded now. It's still NFTE, but they rebranded in the last 15 years that I wasn't there to something like Network for Teaching Entrepreneurship, but close enough. Um, yeah, Larissa was there with me. We had an amazing time. They're amazing folks. Hopefully you can see some of the footage I've captured of the students competing. Um, just a wonderful ambiance, wonderful people, the donors, the students, the parents. Uh, the students had their little setups outside with their little tables and a little display stand of things that they're trying to express about their business. Uh, just a wonderful training in life, a wonderful training in business. I'm very grateful for uh, for my my uh, my participation in that uh, when I was in high school when I was 17 18 19 I was taught how to make a business plan how to write um, you know a proposal how to write just a check how to wear a suit at, at 16 or 17 that was that was valuable that was incredible and so um, just couldn't be more grateful couldn't be more impressed that they're still going uh, Steve Mariotti is no longer with them, the founder that I've reconnected with recently, but the new leadership is definitely taking their job seriously. So uh, they're full steam ahead, educating uh, inner city youth on business and life skills that are essential. And I couldn't be more impressed.